In this video, we'll be taking a look at one college football game happening on January 9, 2023, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this national championship game. So two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one college football game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. TCU versus Georgia, and then there was just one game. The long, winding, and exciting college football season will come to an end on Monday night as the number one and defending national champion Georgia Bulldogs will take on the number three TCU Horn Frogs. Georgia has been the standard bearer of college football for each of the last two seasons and comes into this matchup at 14-0 on the season after a thrilling 42-41 win over Ohio State in the CFP semifinal at the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Meanwhile, the upstart Horn Frogs get to this title game courtesy of a 51-45 win over number 2 Michigan in the CFP semifinal at the VRBO Fiesta Bowl. The opening kick for the college football playoff national championship game will be from the SOFI Stadium. TCU comes into this game with a 13-1 record overall, and they have gone 10-3-1 against the spread. In the Fiesta Bowl, it was one of the more entertaining games of the season, but they were able to secure the 51-45 victory. TCU almost blew the game late, but they advanced, and now only need this win to secure the national National Championship. Quarterback Max Duggan completed 14 of his 29 passes for 225 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. He also rushed for 57 yards and two touchdowns. Running back Amri Demarcado had a strong game, finishing with 17 carries for 150 yards and a touchdown. TCU on the season is averaging 41 points, while their defense is giving up 26 points per game. On the other side of this matchup is Georgia, who sits with a 14-0 record, and they have gone 7-7 to -7 against the spread. In the last game against Ohio State, Georgia was really tested, but they were able to secure 42-41. They had to outscore Ohio State 18-3 in the fourth quarter to secure the win. Stetson Bennett completed 23 of his 34 passes for 398 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Arian Smith had a big game, catching three passes for 129 yards and a touchdown. The Bulldogs are averaging 39 points, while their defense is giving up 15 points per game. Tight end Eric Gilbert is dealing with an injury and may miss this game. The Frogs are 4-0 against the spread in their last four non-conference games and 10-3-1 against the spread in their last 14 overall. TCU is 6-2-1 against the spread in their last nine after an against the spread win. Meanwhile, the Bulldogs are 4-1 against the spread in their last five Monday games and 8-3 against the spread in their last 11 bowl games. Georgia is 15-7 against the spread in their last 22 neutral site games. The the national championship features a team we would all thought would be there in beginning of the season in the Georgia Bulldogs and a team no one thought would be there at the beginning of the season in the TCU Horned Frogs. TCU was a very long shot to win the national championship before the season started but they are here with a chance to shock the world after they upset Michigan as plus 7.5 underdogs in the Fiesta Bowl. Georgia only had a lead for a total of 149 of the Peach Bowl, but it was enough to win despite not covering the closing line of minus 5. The Bulldogs opened as a minus 13.5 favorite and it's been slightly bet down. As we have seen when Georgia has had to step up in class over their last two games, their defense has been pushed to the limit. In the same manner, TCU has been in one-score games in four of its last five. I back Michigan in the Fiesta Bowl thinking its size and defense would overpower a smaller TCU defensive front and Michigan would use the run game to control the tempo. Poor coaching by the Wolverines took that out of play. The Frogs did everything they needed to do to win the game and should be credited, but they also got a pair of pick sixes, which can't be counted on again in the national championship. Despite the fact that Georgia averages more passing yards per game, the TCU offense actually averages more yards per pass. And shockingly, TCU averages more rushing yards per game, but Georgia averages more yards per rush. This game could be tight, 
Both of these quarterbacks feel very similar to each other in style. Statistically, give the edge to Stetson Bennett in completion percentage and passing yards, but the advantage goes to Max Duggan in passing touchdowns and rushing yards. TCU should be able to score on the Georgia defense. This feels like it should be a back and forth shootout similar to what both these teams played in their semifinal game. I don't see Georgia's defense going in complete shutdown mode. I wouldn't totally remove the idea that it could happen, but Georgia hasn't shut down an elite offense since the Tennessee game. The Bulldogs will have to concern themselves with TCU witty out Quentin Johnston who is every bit as good as Marvin Harrison Jr., who was routinely open throughout the Peach Bowl. I would be surprised to see this line get back above 14 points, especially with the early movement headed in the other direction. Has there been a more resilient team in recent memory in college football than the Horned Frogs? They have found a way to put up points against Michigan's vaunted defense and did so with a banged-up running back and an off day from Duggan. Georgia's defense has looked fallible in recent weeks, giving up 28 points per game. They also will have to deal with a bruise quarterback in Duggan that can make plays with both his arm and his legs. Certainly, Bennett will make his share of plays and will absolutely keep the Bulldogs in this game. I think that two areas should concern the Bulldogs, turnovers and the potential loss of Washington. The Bulldogs cough the ball up far more frequently than TCU does and in this up-tempo game, turnovers could be the difference. T. Washington's potential absence could take away the one major advantage Georgia has in this game, the Bulldogs' ground game versus the TCU rushing defense. Without the massive Washington, the Bulldogs will not be able to dominate the line of scrimmage without adding an extra offensive lineman. His absence could impact Bauer's ability to work strictly as a pass catcher. Ultimately, this game will be very tight. TCU has refused to cave all season and I can't imagine this would be the time. Can they win this game? They absolutely could, but I won't fully commit to that. However, I will commit to the fact that they will absolutely keep this one close enough. In short, personally I can't do it, I just can't. I have poured over the numbers and I have considered the matchups and the history but I simply can't bet against TCU in this one. The Horned Frogs have been cover darlings all season and their only against the spread losses were three games decided by a total seven points. So the TCU Horned Frogs to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. While this number seems high, keep this in mind, of the eight CFP championship games, six of the eight have gone over 60 points. In fact, the average total in that time has been 64 and a half points. Georgia, despite its vaunted defense, has allowed an average of 28 points per game in the last three games. TCU has allowed over 30 points per game in that same time frame. TCU, save for last week, doesn't typically turn the ball over and has the seventh highest scoring offense in the country. The Bulldogs have the sixth highest scoring offense in the country and Bennett will certainly direct his team to 30-plus points as he did in last year's title game. Duggan is tough and unrelenting. He will find the end zone early and often as well. Take the under on this total at your own risk considering these two teams combined for 28 fourth quarter points alone in their respective semifinals games. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.